We have been rooting for you. And the other day, you were given an opportunity in an interview to speak to this gender-confused culture. Now wait, Lauren, how is it that having friends who are homosexuals makes it any less sinful to be a homosexual? But the true test of our love for our friends and family is whether we are willing to speak the truth to them and rescue them from the sinful lifestyle. I am hated on and slandered every day for taking being a huge bigot. Nobody talks about my biblical stance against lying, stealing, rape. It's usually just homosexuality. No, this is an intentional Marxist takeover of our nation. Goal 25, break down cultural standards of morality by promoting pornography, obscenity in books, magazines, motion pictures, radio, and TV. We were warned that the communists would present homosexuality, degeneracy, and promiscuity as, quote, normal, natural, and healthy. Hi, I'm a huge Karen. And I'm the activist mommy. Well, today we're going to be talking about gender insanity. Then we have the pronoun police. But no matter how big Bruce makes his boobs and how high the heels are he wears, Bruce will always be Bruce. He can't change that. No, I'm not going to celebrate your mental disorders. I'm not going to celebrate your sin. Look, I don't care what a five-year-old feels like doing. Five-year-olds feel like playing video games until 4 a.m. Five-year-olds feel like eating Oreos three meals a day. Five-year-olds feel like they are Superman and like they can don a cape and jump off a, off a roof and fly. Listen, when a society exchanges being governed by reason and the word of God, for being governed by its feelings. It will not be long before that society sees its total demise. It's the end of the world as we know it. I believe that this piece that they published is extremely irresponsible and dangerous and offensive. So let's reward them by making sure everyone cancels their subscriptions, all of you, boycott Parents Magazine, and share this video with the hashtag Boycott Parents Magazine. Why were people holding signs that said abort Vice President Mike Pence? <laughs> <laughs> the radical feminist agenda has turned into nothing more than a campaign for abortion on demand and homosexuality. If you're gonna march for women, you gotta march for all women. You see, feminism is nothing more than an ideology created by discontented, silly, sinful women who want to justify their sinful lifestyles. They want to justify their homosexual sex. You know, I march too. I march right into my kitchen and cook for my family and march right into my baby's room and changed her diaper. That's real womanhood. Well, kids are going back to school. I'm here in my homeschool room where I home educate our children. Oh, and don't forget about Bill Nye, the science guy, advocating butt sex and pansexuality and doing whatever feels good. Look, it's time for parents to push back and say, no, you are not gonna have my kids. You're not gonna soil my kids' innocent minds with your sick ideas. First of all, the 14th Amendment clearly says the state cannot deprive a person of life, liberty, or property. Now, Tommy, are you questioning whether a fetus is a person? Look, babies' lives are not a point in a party platform. They are people made in the image of God. A group of women who love your families and your country and you're deeply concerned about the moral plunge toward darkness and perversion that our nation has taken in recent years. If teenagers think something's cool, they say, that's lit. And if someone's upset about something, they say, why so salty? Turn to your neighbor and say, girl, why so salty? And let me tell you, the activist mommy is known for being a bit salty about the agenda so to destroy the moral fabric of our nation and pervert the minds of our children. We are salty women. 
Oh, so-